Have a new record out called Over okay. uh, It's been a year since you released Hot Wax, yes. your previous record. Uh, where did all the songs came from in such a short time? I mean, uh, if well, we review is a uh, rarities like going back 15 years of different radio recordings and different singles. So it uh, it kind of just collected itself on its own. Uh, Hot Wax, you know, that was that was new material. The project I'm recording now is new material, but uh, Oeuvre Vue is, uh, you know, it pretty much put itself together. So, the making of Hot Wax uh, took four years. Uh, that's well, it, took, <coughs> it took about three weeks, but waiting for the studio to be vacant. I started working in Montreal with the um, Silver Mount Zion people, and oh, after after about 15 days in the studio, back and forth, accumulated, they decided to move their location, and they thought they would do that in six months. It took them more like two years, and the. The studio had changed so much that it really wasn't uh, there. There wasn't really a need to continue the recording there. It, it wasn't going to be the same place anyway. So I uh, finished it up in Minneapolis with uh, Mike Wistie, who's a close friend of mine, who has a studio, and you know, it was a little easier. So, um, yeah, you, you told us uh, you recorded that album with Silver Mount, Zion, and Godspeed to Black Emperor. Well, primarily, primarily Terry Amar. Terry Amar. So, uh, with whom you've collaborated on your new record? Nobody. So, all the, all the instruments were played by you yeah. yourself? Yeah. So, can you tell us more? about your last year, I mean, uh, those months between Hot Wax and your new record? Well, um, toured a few times you know, with, with the new record and <clears throat> went to New Zealand, Australia, and did a tour of uh, Southern Yugoslavia and uh, Zagreb and Belgrade as well, but a lot in you know, Kosovo and uh, Bosnia, and uh, I've also been recording the next one, which is uh, more of more of a big project, but it's it's about a third completed now. 
Um, so you mentioned like Bosnia and Kosovo. Um, how were how were those shows in in? Uh they were great. Um, it seems that in uh, Sarajevo that it's more that the crowd was more of the cultural elite rather than you know just plain people but you know that was all right too great people but uh, I have a feeling that uh, a lot of people moved from that town uh, so yeah speaking of touring um, you said uh, you're touring this time all alone with, yeah. a, with a train well, I, I usually travel alone anyway but uh, in Europe, the the trains are great. Why risk your life on the motorway? You know, there's as time goes by, people drive worse and worse and worse. And you know, you got people out there that that aren't even driving; they're talking on the phone. And it's I I can't relax in a car when those idiots are sharing the road and uh, it's just a lot more reassuring to be on the train uh, okay why while while uh, while you are on tour you perform solo and not with the backing band uh, why is why is that so so I don't have to listen to a backing band complain about you know why are we taking the train <laughs> no or anything else it's uh, it's pretty stressful playing with a band and especially okay after who's could do I had two choices start fresh with new people or play with a bunch of go old guys and uh, that's still my choices today I um, you know I work with other people but uh, on this tour and most of the recent ones it's just so much simpler to do it this way you know there's a um, there is a factor that a full band adds but it's a little bit insulting when you know three-fourths of the people in the audience are out to see songs that the band wouldn't have had anything to do with you know it, uh, it was kind of ridiculous tonight. I was on live radio for half an hour talking about why I don't do the song Diane. And then at the end of the concert tonight, you got however many people screaming it as if like it's a challenge or something. 